Hello everyone, and welcome back to World Science. Today we have an intriguing and somber tale that took over 60 years to solve. It's the mystery of the boy in the box, a case that haunted Philadelphia and left the nation puzzled for decades. Let's set the scene. It's 1957 in Fox Chase, Philadelphia. On a cold February day, a college student found a cardboard box lying in the woods. Inside was the body of a young boy, estimated to be between four and six years old. He was naked, wrapped in a flannel blanket, and had clearly been subjected to severe abuse. His hair was crudely cut, and his body showed signs of malnourishment and multiple bruises. Despite the shocking discovery, identifying the boy and uncovering the circumstances of his death proved to be an insurmountable challenge. The case quickly garnered media attention. Flyers with the boy's image were distributed nationwide. The police, the FBI, and numerous volunteers followed countless leads, but none led to a breakthrough. Various theories emerged. He was an orphan, a victim of a kidnapping, or the tragic product of an abusive household. Despite the best efforts of investigators, the boy's identity remained unknown, and he was laid to rest in a potter's field with a gravestone reading, America's Unknown Child. Fast forward to the 21st century, where advancements in technology and forensic science began to offer new hope for old cases. In 2001, the boy's body was exhumed for DNA analysis. Although it didn't yield immediate results, it set the stage for a breakthrough years later. Enter the world of genetic genealogy. Genetic genealogy combines traditional genealogy with modern DNA testing. By comparing DNA samples to those in large databases, genealogists can trace family trees and identify relatives, even distant ones. This method has revolutionized forensic investigations, helping solve numerous cold cases. In 2019, investigators submitted the boy's DNA to a genetic genealogy database. The painstaking process involved cross-referencing genetic matches, building family trees, and connecting dots that had long seemed unconnectable. By 2022, the efforts paid off. The boy in the box finally had a name, Joseph Augustus Zarelli. Joseph was born on January 13, 1953, making him just four years old at the time of his death. His identification was a monumental step, but it also raised more questions. Who were his parents? How did he end up in such a tragic situation? Despite knowing his name, the circumstances of his death remained shrouded in mystery. Investigators discovered that Joseph came from a prominent and well-known family in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. However, out of respect for the surviving family members, many details about his relatives have been kept private. It's believed that Joseph was never reported missing, which adds another layer of complexity to the case. Why wasn't he missed? Was he hidden away, or were there sinister reasons behind his disappearance? The identification of Joseph Augustus Zarelli is proof of the power of modern science and the relentless dedication of those who refuse to let his case go cold. It also highlights the dark reality that many children, even today, suffer in silence and go unnoticed. So how does genetic genealogy work in cases like this? It starts with extracting a DNA sample from the remains. The DNA is then processed and uploaded to databases like GEDmatch, which allows for the comparison of genetic material across millions of profiles. Genetic genealogists look for matches, which can range from close relatives to distant cousins. By analyzing these connections, they build family trees and narrow down potential identities. It's a meticulous process that requires both scientific precision and an understanding of complex family dynamics. 
In Joseph's case, the genetic matches led to distant relatives, and through careful research and collaboration, investigators were able to piece together his family tree and confirm his identity. This breakthrough not only provided closure to a decades-old mystery, but also demonstrated the evolving capabilities of forensic science. While the boy in the box case may never be fully resolved, knowing Joseph's name is a significant step towards honoring his memory and understanding the tragic story of his short life. It's a poignant reminder of the importance of perseverance in the quest for justice. That's all for today's episode. If you found this story as compelling as we did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more fascinating stories from the world of science and history. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, right here on World Science.